Tonight, in both Oregon and Washington, lawmakers are trying to pass bills that would ban book bans. They say they want to prohibit school boards from pulling books from classrooms and libraries if the removal of the book is due to discrimination against someone's race, sexuality, religion, or anything else like that. The banning of the book ban. It's our big story tonight. We reported on several book ban attempts throughout the past year. The Canby School District pulled 36 books off its shelves without review after they were challenged. Students and community members protested and eventually 35 of those books were put right back on to the shelves in the school library. In the Westland Wilsonville School District, a group of moms spent months trying to get eight books pulled out of the libraries there. They were unsuccessful, although several of the books were then restricted to a higher grade level. Attempts at banning books from both school and public libraries are increasing in Oregon. Look to the right of that chart there. The State Library of Oregon published a report showing there were 93 books challenged from June of 2022 to July of 2023. That's an all time high since they began tracking it in 1987. The vast majority of the books challenged were either by or about people of color, LGBTQ people or both. The Oregon Library Association says they're currently tracking a dozen book challenges across Oregon, half of them in school libraries and all of them dealing with race, gender or sexuality. That's why Oregon Senator Lou Frederick says he's sponsoring Senate Bill 1583. If past school officials would not be able to ban a book solely because it deals with people from those groups. Senate Bill 1583 does not restrict a parent's right to make individual decisions for their kids. In fact, it's quite the opposite. This bill preserves educational materials in schools so that students and their parents maintain the ability to choose what they read. The bill got its first hearing yesterday afternoon and it was a packed house there. A few of the people testified that this bill would be redundant. We already have very clear direction on anti-discrimination on federal and state levels. So we, we feel like in a way this is kind of a slap in our face that we're not doing our job and that you have to slide in an emergency bill. We have an, a process of adoption of, for curriculum where it clearly states, I quote the district, school board shall adopt the list in compliance with ORS 337.141 and shall involve parents and citizens in the process, end of quote which checks many anti-discrimination boxes that are as required by the state. And several parents testified that they would take their kids out of public schools because they don't like what's on the library shelves. But it's hard enough just to get our kids to learn, uh, love to learn and to read and do their math. I don't think we need to clog their mind, minds with things that they can't handle. It's overwhelming. I don't think we need that. I think it's you're moving one step forward. Uh, this is just one step into the indoctrination of an ideology, and I don't like it. I'm not in favor of it. Now, people could still try to ban books by saying the content isn't age appropriate for kids. We've seen that before. But for protests just based on book themes, plenty of school librarians weighed in to support the bill. They said they've been overwhelmed with the increase in book challenges. Um, banning books because they portray people who are subject to hate and discrimination is not acceptable. This bill adds another layer to protect against discrimination and will help make it even more clear that books and other materials cannot be removed on the basis of discrimination. I want to be clear that this bill does not require any materials to be used in schools. Already we're lacking in the number of school librarians in many schools and districts across the state. This can help the librarians and classified staff in schools. As librarians, we know that no student is required to read a particular book in the school library and that parents absolutely have the right to decide what their child reads. But no one should decide for other families that any book should be removed from a library. Another school librarian said having access to all kinds of books is essential for kids. And a teacher also testified saying that it's OK for books to make students uncomfortable. My students aren't hurt when they lean into the discomfort of real history. When we learn true history, it should make us proud to be Americans and Oregonians. However, there are chapters that also make us feel uncomfortable. The internment of Oregonians of Japanese ancestry should make us uncomfortable. The lynching of Alonzo Tucker in Coos Bay, Oregon, with an audience of 300 people in broad daylight should make us uncomfortable. 
A similar bill is making its way through Washington's legislature. House Bill 2331 has already passed the House. The bill was sponsored by Representative Monica Stonier from Vancouver. We're set to talk with her about it tomorrow. But in the meantime, let's hear from you. Do you think Oregon and Washington need laws banning book bans? Or do you think they go too far? Let us know. The email address is the story at kgw.com, or you can leave a voicemail at 503-226-5090.